Salutations, this is Grem Davel. I'm here with Quasimoto, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. You Hello, know. everyone. <laughs> Quasi's on his new mic. Um, I think we're still working some kinks out, but hopefully he sounds better. Um, the only change I've made since the last time we played uh, on the screen you're watching right now is I, I made the map stationary because it was bothering me that when I rotated, the map also rotated, and that was kind of hard for me to determine where I was going. Oh, I'm sitting on this bench. You want to come sit at this, on this bench with me? That would have been a good way to start. <laughs> you, you know what I think I do? Yeah. It's a moment of reflection. Come hang out. Yeah. Ah, that's so nice. I know, your character is spam walking. Spam walking? Yep. What do you mean? Do you appear as seated on your end? Yeah. On my end, you're just walking to nowhere. Oh, that's not good. No, um, it's okay. There's some. There, there's a moment of bliss. Oh, was it? so. If if I hit, uh, I I was looking at some of the commands also, and uh, if you hit the um, the grave the grav grave grave key, you know, like the tilde, it um, or the character above the tilde. Yeah, it highlights characters and highlights things. Pick. Oh, and oh. left control. If I hold, if I hold left control, that makes me be able to like attack things or yes. just destroy things. Yes. Okay. That that is instantly an attack procedure. Okay. Cool. So you know, it doesn't. When you hit tick, it does not highlight objects. It does highlight other characters. I just got a fishing pole that I found here. Can I use this? So please, Grebdevel, share with us some other various hotkeys you've learned. That's Anything about else? it. I mean, honestly, like I think we already know most of the others. You can uh, you can scroll up and down on your hotbar with R and F. Other than that, that's about it. So I'm going to I'm trying to use this. Um, yeah, I think this fishing pole is just a weapon. Um, but it's not nearly as good as my sword. Suitable for saltwater or freshwater fishing or mischief, it says. I wonder if I can combine it with bait or something. Uh, where's my where's my regular staff, though? What happened to that? Why am I not seeing my staff in my inventory? Oh, this is it. Okay. So uh, can you remind us where we last left off in the story? Yeah, I think... Oh. You took a key using magic pockets? How did... Did you did you sneak up on me to do that? Nope, I just clicked on a door. Oh. So I guess that's like a quest item, so you opened the door that it was... Uh, that was set to... Um, do you have that note on the bottom left corner? N no. So I just received a note... And this probably is in line with what you're saying. It's It reads that a quest item will immediately be transferred from mm. one party member to another. So that's what Magic Pockets is. Ooh, a Blitz Bolt Scroll. What is this? A wooden log. Uh, oh, one thing. I So I did watch our last episode. And this is the second time we've, we've been playing. Um... And I, I forgot, I got this cooking pot somewhere, and I kind of want to see if I can use it. Can I combine that with, like, the shells and cook sure. them? I've been giving you all of the basic alchemy options, realizing Without. your character would eventually own this skill. I don't know if you can eat these. Yeah, you can consume the shells. You know, one thing I'm but very curious like about... I'm very curious that with this game, just how good and nuanced the, the alchemy and crafting um, gameplay is. Because it's usually, I mean, in 99.9% .9 of RPGs, it is usually either too simplistic or just not necessary. Yeah, I'm not sure. I also read, do you have a golden grail? Because I have one. And I read the description of it. And it says it, 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 says it can transform things into gold. Like, it's an alchemist's... I can't turn the shell into gold, but um, the description of it says 
that uh, the Grail is charmed with the power to transform basic clothing and armors from simple cloth and steel to lavish gold. So if I have something made of cloth, like maybe my underwear? Hmm. I don't have it, but that's really no. cool. You Did you start with anything weird and special like that? No, not really. Okay. Well, uh, so we got that key the last episode. Uh, and we're in this tomb. This this tomb is apparently where we we found some characters uh, that attacked us, and they were running away. And they seem to have indicated that they stole some sort of stone from this tomb. And we went into the tomb. And uh, the rats don't seem to know very much. But uh, here we are. A now that rope. hasn't that hasn't stopped you from talking to them, however. No, and I will continue. What is this? Is this more? This is more poison. So let's see if we can light this. Are there any? Hey, mm -hmm. Grim Deville, can you remind me uh, what was the hotkey that highlighted objects? Uh, alt, left Alt. I think. Oh. Okay. So I can uh, cast Firefly. Let me see if I can just cast this. Uh, no, that didn't work. It's an earth spell. I didn't think it would work. I just thought I'd try it. Gas pits. Oh, place an object over the pit to stop the puddle. Oh. Okay. Well, first let me look in here. An ice shard scroll. Okay. Oh, cool. I just threw it. You can you can throw objects pretty, wow, what's this I've pretty nice. Pretty. I can't throw that far. Sweet. Uh, what button do you use to throw? Oh, you just drag it. Like, oh. yeah, so. So doesn't poison get quelled from fire? Is that what it is? There it is. Well, uh, these are like, these. this poison was coming up from these vents. I see. So I blocked the vents. Let's see what's in this chest here. There's a pretty, uh-oh, oh. I just opened up another poison casket. Uh, no, you don't move them. Don't move. I covered them. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm actually poisoned now. And I have empty potion bottles. And I got cloth bracers. Let me check these out. Um, I have traveling bracers. These look the exact same, except they have a little bit more durability than my current bracers. So I guess I'll equip them. Uh... uh my character is pretty unhealthy. Are you gonna die? I think I might. Dude. Alright, you're not poisoned anymore. So you're not gonna die. Don't move the things that are over the vents. Uh, while we're on the subject, you wouldn't happen to have any poison antidotes, would you? I got a lucky find. Um. Summon Ended Warrior, Resurrect, Firefly, Rain, uh, Love Grenade, uh, Ice Shard, Blitz Bolt, Fireball, I have a Water Balloon, um, I have two empty potion bottles. If I knew how to brew one, I could brew it. I have a minor healing potion. Okay. Yeah, my character can heal at the cost of AP, so it's actually really not bad. I have a mushroom, a fly agaric mushroom. Okay. So, uh, by the way, one thing I did notice that's a nice oh. to have are there are some really nifty sorting options in the inventory. Um, First. Okay. So I've just, until oh. now, been looking at all items, but if you look at the left-hand side... By type, yeah. You can go by type, and then you can just search by a name. Yeah. Um, there are mummies over here. Do you hear them? Have you, uh... Well, before we get there, have you retrieved this, this chest? Was there anything yeah, cool in it? I, yeah, I, I told you. I found cloth bracers and uh, two empty potions. Do you see the mummies over here? Like where I'm looking? Um, let, let's see. Yeah, that's where they are. They're down there. Last thing you need is to surprise another angry summoner. Uh, let's not fight them until you're healed. Or until both of us are healed. Hmm. Uh, healing might take a while. 
it's a pretty slow process. Yeah. Well, let me, um, let me at least like search over here. Oh, enter sneak mode, and we can remain uh, hidden. I, uh, I think I might use my antidote right now. What? No, you're not poisoned. No, it, it's for healing. It uh, heals twenty percent. It's a minor healing potion. Uh, okay, you might want to save that for battle, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just trying to evaluate whether it's better to do it before we enter a battle. Or only when needed. I mean, but you have an, like a healing spell that you can just cast over and over again. So, mm -hmm. so I, I think it would make sense just to use that outside of battle. Uh, yeah, so let's heal up. This might take a little bit, so we'll do a little jump cut here, and we'll come back when we're fully healed up. All right, see you soon. All right, why don't we sneak? All right, we're back. Let's let's sneak. Um, now, you're good at sneaking. You should probably lead the way. That's a nice-looking rock you've got there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll probably try not to disturb these guys, I guess, and maybe just listen to what they're saying. Ooh, a fire arrow. I'll send this yeah. to you. What's going on in here? You know, not to complain, but I uh, I noticed that the alt key isn't showing the same item listing that it used to. Well, we don't, there, that's only for, like, items on the ground and stuff, I think. I see. Like, I see a fireball scroll down there. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right sometimes, so it pays, <laughs> sometimes it pays off to scout ahead. Drag a candle into the oil to ignite the oil these skeletons are standing on. Uh, that tooltip just disappeared. Hold on. That tooltip just disappeared. But, yeah, okay. Oh, wait. Um, hold on. Let's see if I can see here. Uh, inventory? General? Yeah, okay. Um, in order to damage them prior to combat. Okay, so can you do that? Take the candle and ignite the oil? Oh, nice. I can probably do it again. Yeah, I guess so. They still don't see us, so... Try not to, try not to light that rat on fire. Oh, nice. Dead. Except we didn't get any experience from that. Oh, really? Old cloth cap. Do you want that cap? Yeah. Where do you see it? I'll give it to you. Um, where did it? Can I take it? It looks like you still haven't picked it up. No, I have. I, was just, I wanted to hover over it so I could then give it to you. Oh, I just got one as well, then. You, you picked up the one that I was looking at. Oh, yeah. I thought you had picked it up already. No, I was trying to right-click it so I could give it to you. Oh. All right, I think that does it for our enemies. I guess so? Um, well, actually... Oh, are I these... See... Watch out, because I think these are pressure plates here. Or maybe we both have to stand on them. Uh, what is this? Click. Oh, you, yeah, you're, you're on that. Uh -huh. Okay, that was very cavalier of you. Uh, I can be sneaky when I want to. What's this? I'm looking around for... Yeah, so you still have to kind of mouse hunt a little bit, like a cursor. Oh! Pressure place, yeah. Hold on, what is this over here? Sorry, can you... I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, oh, okay. Nice. Alright, that was easy. Any fun objects before we go? Uh, I didn't see any. Oh, what is this over here? Is that another cooking pot? You can have that cooking pot. I'm going to take this hammer and this intelligence potion. I'll just give you this cooking pot. Oh, yeah, these are things I have to pick up first. Nice. You got a hammer? Is it a, is it a strong weapon? It is a crushing weapon. Do you want it? I, I don't know. It's, it does it's 11 to 16 it crushing damage. Is it is it one-handed or two-handed? Uh, it is... Um, where does it say? Oh, it, yeah. Oh, one-handed. It's one-handed. Ooh, yeah. Can I? Uh, and, and there you go. All right. What do we have here? 
And here's your cooking pot. You're welcome. Oh, an arrowhead. All right, I think I can craft arrows now. I'm going to try. Um, arrow shaft combined with... Uh, oh, no. Where's where the arrowhead? These so, icons, I'm actually... Right? Sorry about that. I'm, I'm actually not going to equip this. It turns out this weapon mm -hmm. provides a dual-wielding damage penalty of minus 20%. Oh, okay. Interesting. Where did the arrowhead... Oh, that's, a, that's the arrowhead. That's weird. It has, like, lightning on it. Oh, it's because it's, it's, it's stunning, like, magic stunning, not like a... I just made a stunning arrow. Oh, very nice. I see it come up. Wait, I think. Wait, what just happened? You did make it. Yeah. Invalid combination. Oh, that's an arrow. Okay. Sorry. The arrow, the actual arrow looks a lot like the... There you go. Tears. Looks like the arrow hit itself. Okay. Um, what's over here? Ooh. No, it's a broken vase. I thought that was... Yeah, so if it's broken, I guess it doesn't contain anything? Uh, Yeah. I think so. Okay. Let us continue. Up these stairs. Uh, okay, there's another pressure plate up here. Uh, I don't see any over here. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's just a car alarm. <laughs> uh, so I can't move... Oh, I can move these broken bases. Okay. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, you're down uh, there. Yeah, I'm pretty stationary right now. Just reviewing a menu options. All right, so I put um, one pre one pressure pressure plate over there. I don't see another one. Um, look for another pressure plate somewhere. Okay. Where did you say the last one was? Uh, oh, there. one up here by the door, but. Hmm. Hello? What is man? Is that up? That's just outside. Let's see if we can open. Just open the door, I guess. Locked. Is this one also locked? Yeah, yeah I mean there are the two from the previous area whoa, that we whoa, just visited. Whoa. What? What just happened? That sounded like a door opening. Uh, did you step on something? Nope. Are you sure? Fairly positive. Huh. This seems to be broken. Um I mean we just heard something open up, right? Hmm. Okay. All right, I'm going to go searching for it, I guess. There's got to be another pressure plate. Maybe the mouse tripped one? Here, wait, here's a mouse. Uh, not much to say. Yeah, maybe the mouse trip walked over it. Hey, Gremdevel, do you know what I, I noticed? Uh, actually, if you stand on the pressure point, the door opens. Oh. Not necessarily by the vase. So it needs more weight. Okay, I'm gonna... Or you want... Here, I'll get on the plate, I guess. You wanna go in? Yeah, I was uh, actually just looking for a heavier object, but I guess this works. Ah, yeah, there's another one on the other side. Right. Uh, can you stay, step on that? And I... Uh, now I will go through. All right, you're cool. you're off of it. Ah, right? wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. For some reason, it was so through. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. It auto saved. 
Okay. All right. Um, there's a scary looking tomb here. Or, oh gosh. He is about to come alive, isn't he? I pre preemptively casting my spider. Oh, we can speak to him. Yeah. Yeah, they were talking about this guy. Um, Bloodstone. Can you see my options? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I say we say three. Okay. Because that's that seems to be what happened. Strange oh, my spider. Indeed. Robed indeed. Your tricks will not save you from retribution. Um, the bloodstone, deliver it now, and I may deign to end you. Who are you? In life, I toil to care for these holy grounds. In death, I protect okay. them from profaners and poachers. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna listen to every voice dialogue. I don't think, right? You know, for someone we just met, he really does drag on. He does. I suppose you only crept among these sacred tombs for leisure. I suppose you had no lust. Okay, you're just gonna attack us. Which... <laughs> oh, great. Oh, he is minions. He is minions. Oh, okay, so you go first. My spider's dead. You, I, would, I would think that the time wouldn't pass during dialogue, but it, it does. Uh, okay, here we go. Battle number two. You want to uh, you want to talk us through your thought process here? Yeah, so I'm actually thinking about enabling invisibility. For number one, we're still in tutorial mode and we're learning our character strengths. We're but not also, actually in a tutorial mode, just to make it clear for the viewers. <laughs> this is normal gameplay. Right, still right. learning how to play. Yeah. Um, number two, I mean, it's got pretty high odds. Ninety percent chance to set invisible status for five turns. This would allow me to go behind. My enemies, which apparently does critical damage. Yeah, like backstabbing. Yeah. Okay, um, you can do that. But while you're doing that, they're all going to focus all of their attack on me. Um, I mean, the, I can cast a spider my next turn, I think. So hopefully they'll focus on that instead. Which might be a good tactic for, you know, for me to summon a spider... Have them focus on that, and then you sneak and me do whatever magic I need to do. Do you want to give it a shot? Yeah, we can give it a shot. Worst comes to worst, I just fireball all of them. All right, so I'm now invisible. Yes. Uh, and I'm going but to... But I can see you. <laughs> well, you can. We're friends. <laughs> There's not much I can do. I have two. I have three AP left. Okay. Well, I guess start walking. Yeah, I guess. You want to get behind them, behind him. You want. We want to kill Rage Quinn. Do you want to go for the minions first, or for the big bad baddie? Um. Well, if you're gonna backstab, you should backstab the big bad baddie. Hmm. If too many enemies are concentrated in small space, you can press B to get a top-down view. Yeah, I've seen that. That's that's, well, that's interesting. That's okay. Um, so I could cast the spider. I could also cast a fireball, though, right? So um, fireball scroll does 14 to 18 fire damage, and these guys are probably hurt pretty badly by by fire. What's the radius of it? Three meters. So, that's not a lot. Well, that's... Uh, yeah. It's pretty close range. What if I cast it? Oh, yeah. I could hit two of them, but not three of them. Um, so maybe I will save that and just cast my spider to... to a little protection? Of, yeah. Uh, there we go. Come spin your web for me. <laughs> Man, I hate my voice. I did read, I read about how to change a voice, and apparently there's an in-game way, but after a certain point in the game. Like when you have something, like a house or something like that. Oh, so it's like a four, yeah. okay, okay. I'm going to end my turn there. It's a character modification portal. It's like, right. it's like you go to your character's room. 
So I could either do a, have the spider do a regular attack or the special weakening spider bite, which weakens the target. Um, it does less damage, but it weakens the target. I think we want to weaken this guy, Rage Quinn. Yeah, so definitely. I am going to cast that on him. He is weak. And I should be able to attack again, which I will do. Nice. Ow! Uh-oh. Poor spider. Oh, missed. You missed with that giant sword. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, it just keeps... There we go. Uh, so I'm going to get behind Rage Quinn and uh, start my business here. That's better. All oh, right. really? I am literally short one action point to uh, fight him. Uh, really? It's okay. Just end your turn. You'll have more. You'll get that action point next round. Mm hmm. You know, uh, by the way, I for three action points, I can create a poison cloud with a four meter explosion radius. Cool. These guys are immune to poison, of course, but. Are they? Yeah. Where do I learn that? Where does it actually say that? Um, I think on dead art. Re uh, remember that when the spider bites him, we got a little thing that said immune to poison. Yeah. You can see in the combat log, Rage Quinn is immune to poison. Oh, well, okay, so I'll intern. <laughs> yeah. Grim Devil's turn. Uh, delay your turn by pressing the delay turn button. As a result, your turn will be pushed to the end of that round. Okay, so you can push initiative. That's cool. And what is this? Oh, flea combat. Okay, that's good to know. So you can be tactical to delay your turn. But in my case, uh, let's see. Let me, I'm going to cast uh, Oath of Desecration on you to boost your damage. They're like, who did you cast that on? I don't see yeah, right. anyone. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you missed. <laughs> uh, I don't have enough AP. Oh, wait. Oh, I do. I have four AP. So I can, I can either cast Malediction on him to curse him. Or I could, I could cast Fireball and hurt both of those guys. Think that's worth it to use that right now i do because uh either way we have to weaken them so yeah i i have the tendency to like not use items and save everything but that's stupid there's no reason to do that yeah we're always going to get stronger items as yeah. we move on there you go. bam Death never dies. Uh -oh. oh spider's turn oh rage quinn's ghost uh that's interesting um, well, he's about to get backstabbed. Uh, unless he died. Oh, whoop, I didn't mean that. Oh, well. Ow. Sorry. Ow. Oh, missed. Well, that's good. Failed to apply chill. He has a, a staff that chills. All right. This is exciting. Right. You're ready to deal some that damage? Ghost. Oh. Oh. Why did you move? I did press him. <laughs> Misclick. Can um, you there you go. Yeah. yeah. There we go. It was all worth it. Yeah. Did you... I don't know if you actually backstabbed him, but you hit him for enough damage to kill him anyway. You hit him for a ton of damage. So. Um, and there's a guy left. Let's kill that guy. Do you have any action points left? I have four. It's not enough to hit him. I still have my poison, so... Now, he has a bow and arrow, so I think approaching him won't hurt that much. In fact, it might even help. Wow, look at all this stuff on the ground. Um, I am just going to zap. Hey, did your flame scroll appear in your, you know, one through nine window, or did you have to access it through the inventory? Uh, inventory. I could put it in my hotbar, but I did not. Okay. Um, I'm go over here. Spider, attack! And not enough action points. Well, uh, yeah, great. Approach him anyway. Takes four. Uh, end your turn there. Oh, he's running away. 
that's running away from me. Mm -hmm. And the spider. I mean, I would run away from that spider too. That spider is terrifying. I think I'm just going to attack him. Look at this thing. It is terrifying. If I was a little kid, I would I would be like crying myself to sleep. <laughs> All right. Bam! Chaos grips your hand today. You see, he was backstabbed. Uh, yes. I'm gonna take this animal hide. You should take that two-handed. Oh, it's a practice sword. You you got the last cap, so I'm gonna take that. I'll take the key. Do you want this? Are you you don't use two-handed weapons anyway. I just have a two-handed uh, crossbow. I mean, you can take the sword if you want. Let's see what it has. I got a cap, and I don't have any helmet now, so... This wow, cool. it is a very powerful sword. It is? Yeah, it has 33 to 42 slashing. Oh, there's an AP cost. Ouch. Um, actually, I'm sorry, they all have AP cost, and it's pretty standard. <laughs> Two to equip, five to attack. Oh, wait, to it. Oh, 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 oh. Well, to equip, I mean, that's only if you try, like, try to equip it while in battle. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. I but it imagine. is pretty expensive. It's 5 to attack. Yeah. But it's... I mean, that makes sense. So, like, we big weapons that are, like, slow, They, I guess they do that by them costing more action points. All right, so I guess we go up these stairs. Uh, actually, can you heal me? Please. Sure. Whoops. Oh, you moved. I don't think it matters. Okay. Broken vase, broken vase. Uh, can you heal me again, please? It's cooling down. Please. Okay, well, heal me as we go, I guess. Oh, what's on this tomb? Here lies Master Rage Quinn's second. <laughs> Killed by dying. Uh, cute. Thank you. Uh oh, oh, it, it failed. failed. Well, you're so squirmish with this character. <laughs> like, he'll have a falling corpse. Are there other graves? Those are those are pretty funny. Look at all these spider corpses. Uh, okay. Well, we'll keep going and just heal me as we walk, I guess. Whoops. All right. You, I have well, two minor healing potions. Let me let me give you one. Stay where you oh, whoops. are. I'm I gave you all to. three of mine. Can you give me two of those back? Yeah. Thanks. Those are for battle. So I think it's probably been about an episode's worth of time, but I think we'll just keep going and like we did with the first uh, first like play session, we'll just kind of fade out and in and just do okay. the natural cuts. I don't think we have to do like, you know, outro every time. Yeah, we people, have a lot of game to play. I'm, will, I'm, yeah, I'm excited people, to move on. People will understand. Whoa. Yeah. Hey. Did you, where did you take us? Um, some river? Wow. Very nice. Uh, here's a fishing net. I don't... Okay. Can't interact with it. Um, let me look at the map. Okay, so we're like, um... Oh, we're, we're near your portal, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're by your portal that mm -hmm. you found. All right, uh, Ben. Oh, wait. Who are these guys? Junius and Bibius. They're drunks. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Uh, let's talk to them. Oh. What was that? Pork scum. I had, I had very weird clipping in your voice just now. Oh, weird. Yeah. Um. Let's say... I'd like to ask you a few more questions. What do you want to know? Tell me about Counselor Jake. Oh, it's Jake. <laughs> Ship's 
sailed on that one, I'm afraid. What can you tell me about Dad, the murder? I can't tell you much more, except that I heard he was found face down in a puddle of blood. Oh. Used as a water fountain by his own pet. Ooh. Bottle. Seems like he had a well, coming. We can talk to the, to the dog. And I bet a bottle of brandy they're right. Huh. So we have to solve this murder. Tell me about the orcs. I think I actually need to raise my voice volume now. We've been putting up a fight against them to be sure. But I have the strength of an ox in okay. Well, we did bring a legion. Just by your limb, I believe we are close to Sisiel. Sisiel. come to live and street dogs come to die. Just cut the cackle with your baby ears. Now then, stranger. Not that I could blame them. Uh, who are you? We're legionnaires, of course. Okay. Liberators of liquor, too. Just pipe down. So, seems you've been enjoying a drink or two. Ever kept the watch. Stood on the lookout for arrows and ends. So you're liberators, you say. A noble word for watchdog, that. And that is what we do. Watch over the local dogs. Okay. The best way to calm a wily dog is to neuter it. Just put a sock in it where you Well, we're here on Source Hunter's business. Here are orders. So, you're source hunters, are you? And how are we supposed to verify that's true? <laughs> <laughs> so for all we know, those papers You know what? We'll take you two to the wizard. Uh, okay. He's not taking us anywhere. Oh here's a cooperative dialogue, which we already have done, so uh Uh, I say I don't need an escort, especially not a drunken one. I feel the same way. I don't need an escort, especially not a drunken one. Back off or face me. And face me too. You two are a disgrace to your uniforms. That's right. This is where we agree. Uh oh. Okay, I guess we're fighting uh, drunks. This is a little bit embarrassing. I mean, I feel like they're a bit beneath us. I guess we're going to kill them. I mean, I don't want to like do anything illegal, but I mean, we didn't want to fight them. Uh, okay. Is it? Yeah, it's still your turn. Okay, my turn over. Uh, right mouse button, select examine. Oh. Examine. Oh, so, drunk. Just so you know, in this game, your decisions do matter and impact dialogue downstream. Yeah, yeah. So I can I can look at um their status. I think I have a point in law, law, lawyer master, lore master. So I can see I can actually see their resistances and stuff. Which is cool. They're level two. Um, eat spider. And... Let's take care of Junius first here. Junius has the sword. What is that? Crafting and cooking. They have a cookbook. Whoa. That was a lot of damage. Oh, that was... Oh, you were using the two-handed sword. Oh, yes. Cool. Yeah, you almost killed him there. These drunks. I wonder if they can surrender. Uh, you just poisoned yourself. Quasi. Yeah, I see that now. <laughs> <laughs> you may want to first aid yourself or something. Um, I, boy, I can't. I can't even see. I guess I'll cast. Um, let's see. That's damage to you, but you're probably gonna run out of the poison, I assume. 
I hope so. I'm gonna cast Malediction on Junius. No, you have a you have a fire spell, right? Yeah, but I'm in there. But otherwise, I it would be a good alley oop. I mean, I I don't know if I have enough action points at this point, unfortunately, but. And I think it. Four action points. Okay. Oh god. That guy died of poison. I think. He did. Oh no, he attacked the sp. Oh no, wait, how did that guy die? Oh, he was dissolved? Oh my gosh. That guy was dissolved, I guess, in the poison. Yeah, you need to get out of there. So I'm going to run out of there, but you can take care of him on your turn. Yeah. Oh, well, the spider's immune to poison, so. Yeah, I would get out of there fast. That stuff dissolves people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there's an attack of opportunity. He can't run away, though, because if he does, the spider has an attack of opportunity. Are you, You're totally out, right? Yeah, I would just now cast healing on yourself. Um, and if it looks, if things look dire, you might want to just drink a healing potion. Bam. Okay, heal yourself. Heal thyself. We have a dialogue opportunity. Uh, yeah, but let's wait till this poison dissipates first. Okay. 